What's up Libra? This is going to be a love forecast for the first half of November. This is for my Libra Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the Cross Watchers. If you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a like, throw me a comment, share. It really helps out my channel. And if you're new here, I do put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. I also do offer personal readings. All the info for that's in the description box of the video. There's a bit of a wait for a reading with me at the moment, guys. So if you want to explore your options, I put a link to Mystic Sense in the description box as well, which is a great company that will offer you access to so many brilliant psychics and readers all over the world. And if you go through that link I've provided, you can claim a five minute reading free. So check them out if you feel called to do so. And if you would like to follow me on social media, I put the links to my TikTok and my Instagram in the description box as well. So let's get stuck into it. Spirit, what's coming in please for my Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the area of love. First half of November. Any love messages for my Libra? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. First half of November. Okay, the Emperor card, the Five of Swords, the Seven of Cups, mixed feelings, Libra, around a conflict you're having with a person. Um, the Sun card in the reverse, the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, well, Libra, there's a lack of clarity for sure with that Sun card in the reverse, and there's confusion and mixed feelings. Um, but there's also a coming out of the cold here. So it's, it's mixed, right? <laughs> like, there seems to be Sun card in the reverse means there's been a loss of joy. Um, that, but there could have been a disconnect. So maybe you're coming out of a disconnect with a person where there's been some struggles, five of swords, tension, um, verbal conflict. Uh, we've got an emperor card here. You could be dealing with an Aries. Um, we've also got Leo, but you know, there could be some power struggles, conflicts, you know, control issues. Emperor card can be a bit that way. Um, or, you know, someone, you might be trying to take control of matters or someone's trying to take control of matters to um, come out of the cold, right? Five of Pentacles is in the reverse. I don't know. Let me have a look. Two five cards. So there's some kind of a change or a shift, but there's still a lot of mixed feelings going on here. Um, Ten of Wands. There's burdens and there's that five of Wands. I mean, there's, there's conflict. There's some kind of a drama or um, maybe there recently has been that's caused the disconnect. Uh, and Ten of Swords, a painful ending, painful words exchange between you and this person. Um, let's have a look. Emperor, Nine of Swords, Nine of Cups. Some of you are dealing with a husband and a father figure, or that's you. Um, there's stress here. Uh, there's stress here around, you know, um, like I said, maybe it's about the direction forward or whether someone's going to take control of matters. I mean, Nine of Cups is about enjoyment, fulfillment, but it seems to be that there's been some pain. Um, Nine of Cups and the Ace of Swords. So there is a conversation. So like I said, if you've taken a step back or this person's taken a step back and there's been a lack of clarity and a coldness, this could be breaking silence or this could be getting clear, Seven of Cups. So from confusion to clarity, an honest conversation. Um, yeah, let me just see. Even I'm confused, Libra. We've got Ten of Pentacles. It's flipped on um, out on the reverse and Two of Swords. There's like the confusion's coming from a lack of um, direction. Like there's a stagnancy here and or indecision when it comes to the future. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Family matters could be at play. Um, you know, is it? do we share the same future vision? There could be frustrations around that, trouble getting on the same page. Um, and just like the blindfolds on. So it, it, I don't feel like you've completely, like I said, there's, there's a coldness. It's, you know, there's a coldness, but it's still cold, but it's coming out of the cold. <laughs> okay, if that makes sense. I mean, it, there's at least a truth or a clarity coming through where things have been very confusing. You've been very stuck. Um, and then the death card and the page of cups. There could be a transformation happening or there could be a gesture being made, page of cups. Um, for some of you, yeah, children are in the mix here, so there could be maybe some confusion being caused by that. Um, but really what I'm getting, Libra, it's more so about like, are you on the same page as this person? Ten of Pentacles here in the reverse with the Two of Swords. It's like maybe there's been an unwillingness to really address the issue because Nine of Cups, I mean, I feel like you and this person, there's a lot of maybe when it's good, there's a lot of pleasure and joy. 
I mean, maybe sometimes there's a bit of overindulgence, guys, with that nine of cups. I mean, some of you might be dealing with a situation where there's lots of drinking and partying and fun. Um, and the Ten of Pentacles here in the reverse is like, are we on the same page when it comes to like building our future vision? And that could be feeling very stuck, either due to communication issues, mixed signals, mixed emotions, I don't know, um, lack of clarity, lack of truth being spoken to one another, like maybe it's just not been very straightforward. There could be outside um, energies that are kind of impacting on this and that can be family guys, like extended family or that could be, um, you know, friends. I'm not so much really getting like a sense of competition when it comes to romantic situations. Um, I mean, Seven of Cups can mean other options. I mean, maybe Libra, you're wondering whether or not this particular cup is going to lead to your Ten of Pentacles, but um, Five of Wands is, is a lot of stress and struggle and maybe some drama, Two of Swords and Seven of Pentacles, exactly. Like you have not reached the Ten of Pentacles with this person, Libra. It's like you have been invested and waiting to see how things play out, um, but then there's been a struggle and maybe some ego battles here with the strength card, Leo again. Um, and it's led to a lack of joy and fulfillment in this situation. But you know, there's an opportunity here maybe to transform things. We, we have a lot here around ending. So maybe you've had a bit of an ending with this person. I don't think it's a full complete like separation, but you know, maybe there's been an argument or something. There's been an end of sorts, death card here, but then there's an offer. So, um, and then there's mixed feelings, okay, Libra. And so the Ace of Swords is not only about like conversation, but it's about getting to the truth of things. And you've been very unclear. So this is about you also maybe being honest with yourself about what is your future vision? Where, what, what's your direction? Where do you want to head? And you've been indecisive about that, Two of Swords. Okay, maybe you feel like this person, um, there's mixed feelings because either you or this person um, or both of you could have had a Ten of Pentacles in the reverse with the death card, could have had previous relationships um, like Ten of Pentacles. You or this person or both of you could have built a Ten of Pentacles, like children, um, a marriage or a long-term relationship that fell apart. And that could be now there's a stagnancy of, is this where we're headed? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like maybe there's a little bit of that. There's a little bit of stress um, and it's like unhealed pain that's being projected into the situation, unhealed. Star card in the reverse. Star card is healing, it's in the reverse. So there's a sense of you've been waiting to see thing, how things play out. On the other hand, there seems to have been some kind of lack of hope, lack of joy. Um, and guys, also, I mean, that's got, you know, if it's upright, there's like healing involved or, you know, there's opportunity to heal. Maybe you've been waiting to see how things play out and you've lost hope or you feel like you can't really heal the situation. I don't know, but then it's a very mixed Libra because then I've got three of swords in the reverse with the justice card. So this is coming out of the cold again or coming out of heartbreak and making things right. So I think that there's some kind of like a making up after attention. Um, I'm gonna get the cards on them. Your energy is very mixed on this side, Libra. There's mixed feelings. Maybe there's a sense of injustice here. Um, on, on one side, both sides. I mean, some of you are dealing with a situation where marriage and divorce, maybe past marriage and divorce is still like the lingering heartache, right? So I did mention that maybe there's stuff that's not healed and it's nothing to do with your current situation, but it's causing stress and drama like projection, okay? Um, and this is your card, Libra, the justice card. You're looking for balance. You're looking for reciprocity. Um, you're also, maybe wanting to make things right or this person's wanting to make things right with you um, where there's been some pain, okay? Uh, there's unfinished business for sure. We've got the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, so it's not ended even though there's a death card. You know, death card is about endings for new beginnings often or op opportunity to transform something. Um, and either way, before things can end, it seems to be that there's, there's a conversation, a clarity, a truth, a, a gesture, um, Otherwise, you know, the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse is karmic, as is Justice card. So it's like these loops, these cycles that just keep repeating. Um, and maybe that's the truth that's coming through, Libra. Maybe you're taking control over matters like for taking control, Embracard, for yourself of what you want to work through for yourself. There could be a lot of this um, 
like a revelation coming through that there's a personal transformation that has to take place, like releasing some old pain. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a hanged man. So it's on pause, Libra, but sometimes with hanged man, it's also about enlightenment. So for you, I feel like there's been a sense of enlightenment and there's a surrendering of maybe some stress or some pain on a, in a wider sense, you know what I mean? I've got Ace of Wands. So Libra, for some of you, um, maybe you are thinking about exploring a different option because I do have the full card and the Ace of Wands, but I also feel like with the Hanged Man, you've got one foot in, one foot out of this situation. I'm gonna get their cards and see what action they're going to take. Like you could have attraction for this person um, still, and maybe you, you wanna jump on another cycle with them. So I, I really do think that there is there's two aces on the table. Like there's a new beginning or an opportunity for that between you and them. Um, you might also be feeling like with the full card that you are thinking about maybe going towards something else. I mean, the full and the ace of wands, this is about travel and distance. So this could be playing into the situation. Ace of wands is, is you know, it's passion, it's revival. So maybe with all this stress, that's something that's been lost between you and this person. Sun card in the reverse, there's a loss of joy. Um, and vitality, you know, but maybe there's opportunity to revive it, okay, with the full. Full's a, a new cycle card, and then we've got the Hierophant card. There could be issues to do with um, tradition, culture, background, like differences between you and this person, religion, or otherwise, you know, um, there's this sense of the full and the Hierophant together, like, it's a risk, you know, fool can be like that risky energy, like definitely attraction between the two of you, but something about commitments might feel risky because there's been losses before, or you and this person seems like it's been hard to get on the same page. So I'm really getting that mixed feelings, Libra, like, could we, could we do this? Should we take the leap and, and really commit to one another? Or are we not on the same page? And it looks like there's a conversation um, and it will become very clear. There's definitely unfinished business and a coming out of the cold. So if you are in silence with this person or you've taken a step back, um, it's coming unstuck, right? Um, yeah, I've got eight of pentacles. So th there's an opportunity to, to actually work on things, okay? Um, and move things in a different direction. And I can't tell you for all of you, you know, what's the outcome because how do I know? <laughs> what you're going to say and do or what why would I tell you what you should do um we'll get some more cards on like them just to clarify and confirm what they're going to do and we'll get oracles to get a little bit more detail so what actions is this person taking towards Libra I mean temperance card there's a sense of patience but or patience needed or time it's been taking time the temperance card is also you know tempering our own emotions it is healing and it was in the upright so that maybe they want to heal things with you, but temperance card is we need to temper ourselves. Hermit, you've taken distance from one another. Um, we need to temper ourselves to avoid maybe these strong reactions because there's a five of swords there and five of wands. So there's been some kind of a, a big reaction or a drama. And then I just saw two of swords in the upright and 10 of swords in the upright. Guys, you're mirroring one another, you and this person and the five of swords. Wow. Um, so it's like the feeling's very mutual, um, like there's mutual pain here. Let's see, five of pentacles in the reverse, Libra. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I get very excited, guys, because you see how much I shuffle. And um, we know that that was one of the first cards. It was one of the overalls, like coming out of the cold, Libra. So they want to come out of the cold with you. Um, sorry guys, I hope you can see. And then there's a four of wands in the reverse and then there's a king of wands in the reverse. There's a wheel of fortune in the upright Libra and you've got it in the reverse. So there's unfinished business. There's opportunity to shift things in a positive direction and there's a death card and a ten of swords and the world. Okay, so Libra, there is a wanting to come out of the cold, um, but right now it's like someone is not taking the action. Okay, king of wands. Um, or, or there hasn't been much action, <laughs> okay? There's attraction between you and this person, but the problem with the King of Wands Libra in the reverse is like maybe there's more attraction than there is like the cups energy, sorry to say, because I am seeing page of cups, but it's not big, you know? Where's the like King of Cups and stuff? And Shadow King of Wands is very, um, can be a little bit egotistical, so maybe there are e ego issues between the two of you, and, and it can be also like, 
over prioritizing maybe like the sexual component. And I did say with that nine of cups, like maybe there's a lot of chemistry, ace of wands as well, but maybe there's been um, not much emphasis because there's like a need for healing deeper issues and there's a lack of vulnerability with one another. I mean, the emperor card in a shadow can be almost icy or over controlled with their emotions. So four of wands in the reverse, so how does this person feel? I mean, the four of wands in the reverse is like breakdowns of relationships or marriage. So that could be playing in the mix where there's an issue here, like unfinished business needs to be finished. So for some of you, this could be the old pain of the past that's now affecting the two of you. Or this could be, you know, coming out of the cold, but maybe not a readiness to come together yet and actually build unless something is transformed properly. So I always read it like if it's like this, it, it could be like that. Or if it went a different way, maybe it's done because that's kind of the energy. We've got death card here. So the, the Wheel of Fortune. So this is opportunity for a positive shift. Something does have to shift and there's an awareness that there's a transformation needed because there's pain between the two of you. You both have Ten of Swords in the upright and the World card. This is like cycles. So it's like, can we close out these cycles um, or would we just maybe move in another direction? I mean, this can be a closure and a completion altogether. Um, but like I said, Death card can also be transformation. And then I've got Seven of Wands. There's a lot of defensiveness between the two of you. Okay. Um, six of pentacles, something about reciprocity here. So someone might feel the other one's taking more. And again, like this could be mutual. Six of pentacles is, you know, where we feel breadcrumbed. I mean, this person, yeah, there's issues around someone maybe not feeling very supported. We've got the six of swords, but then there's also six, six, two cards about, you know, harmony, um, and moving things in a smoother direction. So it's really mixed Libra. What's this person going to do? Queen of Cups. So this person, look, they see you as someone that they do have an emotional connection with. Okay. Queen of Cups. So, um, it's still there. And I think that's why they want to come out of the cold with you and they want to end a painful cycle. There's that hermit card. Um, so there's been distance. I think they're reflecting on things. And there's communication, Libra, okay? You both, from two different decks, and you saw how much I shuffled, we've got Eight of Wands in the upright, but we've got the star card in the reverse. So you've both lost sort of hope around the situation somehow, um, but maybe with the conversation, there's opportunity or, and you can turn that into hope, right? And, and healing. I'm not encouraging anyone to go with someone that's bad. I always have to do this disclaimer, guys, like use your discernment, you know, like if you think a person is toxic and revolting and narcissist and whatever, like clearly that's not what I'm encouraging. So, you know, it's a general message. Some of you are dealing with situations where there's been some drama or conflict and there's opportunity to resolve it, you know. Sometimes it's projection. So, so you know, people are just back and forth and aggravating each other's um, wounds. And so there's opportunity by dealing with things within to change and shift an outcome with a person as within so without guys there's four of pentacles so that you're still holding on to one another there's conversation coming in it's almost like libra i mean this person might feel like you withhold a lot or you might feel like they withhold a lot so there's definitely communication and it could go either way we've got lovers card in the reverse so this is like love gone um love feeling lost and one-sided but again libra i always feel that maybe both of you feel a bit that way. There's a need to do some deep diving and think about what needs to be processed. Um, this person could really be feeling the distance. Okay, Hermit card is a bit of a lonely energy. Um, it's definitely that things are feeling maybe cold between the two of you, but both of you have five of pentacles in the reverse and wanting to come out of the cold. Page of swords, observation energy and eight of pentacles they want to work on things with you you both had eight of pentacles so see how there's a lot of mirroring and mutuality um a lot of pentacles coming up so maybe there is just an over focus at the moment on work on money and finances some of you are dealing with a boss figure um or maybe that's you there could be legal matters at play here guys that are not related to like exes i mean maybe that's another factor legal matters contracts yeah, so they want to put some effort in it and they're going to make some kind of a gesture 
Knight of Cups. So we've got Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, we've got Queen of Cups. I mean, you know, there is cups here, but it seems to be that there's been just like a lot of um, tension between you and them. So it's gonna come down to Libra, the conversation and your truth and what you want and putting effort in mutual effort and maybe effort into self. Okay, so um, yeah. I'm gonna get some of the oracle cards, guys. So messages for Libra. So what is this person um, feeling and wanting from Libra in November? Ooh, temptations, flirting, giving into pleasure. Hmm, okay. Well, first of all, there is a sexual component here, as I said, guys, um, with that king of wands. I think that you are very attracted to one another. Maybe um, that nine of cups and the, and the, the pleasure and the drinking and the king of wands and the shadow Maybe there's been a bit of this um, jealousy or um, arguments, okay? I don't know if they're founded. I mean, I really wasn't getting so much of that. I've got anchor, heaviness, holding it together um, with observing. So there's heaviness between the two of you and social media stalking, keeping an eye on you, obsessed with you. That's Page of Swords. So they are watching you, Libra, and they're obsessing about you. We've got bottled up, keeping things inside. So they're feeling like you keep things inside or you're secretive and you might feel the same about them. You've got a strong connection, Libra, with the lover's card, but this is about choices, decisions. So someone feels the other one's not choosing and maybe vice versa. Uh, Gemini energy, we've also got Aquarius. Sorry guys, if some, I don't always call out the signs. I don't know, like they're not super important, but death card, uh, Scorpio, Aquarius, Virgo. <laughs> Yeah, okay, clown, shame. Oh, get away, run away together, moving. Issues around distance, travel, or wanting to take a trip. There's some shame, there's degradation. So some of you, you know, this when things get not nice, it's really not nice. So there's something that needs to be made right or balanced out between the two of you. Negativity, the witchcraft card has come out. Maybe there's some unhealthy um, friends or outside influences, guys, um, that bring a lot of negativity, but this really is about negativity being projected at one another with ascending, learning, transcending, preparing for union, new phase with muse, inspired by you, listening to music, emotional bond, song lyrics with only you, focused on you, observing you, watching you, there's no one like you. And then I've got the justice card. Well, besides things needing to be made right, I, it does say legal papers, legal matters, divorce. Someone here must have been divorced before um, or there's some legal component. Um, and maybe it's, this is just like the fallout. Like I said, maybe you've had a fallout with this person and there's a lot of misunderstandings due to like past issues still playing out in the present, right? Um, and what else? Okay, party, <laughs> having fun. There's a lot to do also with having fun, guys. So maybe someone likes to indulge a lot or maybe both of you do, Libra. Maybe you have fun together, but there's, you know, fun with friends. There's also the, the um, message risky. And then I've got direction forward, okay? So something about things feeling risky, either because like there could be differences between the two of you or the past pain has not been released. So love feels like a risk on a level. Um, but then I've got, you know, it's in the future, few days to weeks, few months. So I think this is the reading for November. There's gonna get, you're gonna get clear on the direction forward with this person. And um, there's opportunity to kind of have a new phase and learn from what's happened. Okay, Libra, um, yeah, let me just get a, um, oh, this one fell out, reconciliation. So there's an opportunity for reconciliation. Someone is returning, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Seven of Cups, confusion. It's like maybe you both don't really know or haven't known what you wanted, right? Or you both feel the other one doesn't really know what they want or is indecisive. Um, make the effort. That's that eight of pentacles. You're both showing up with eight of pentacles, wanting to make an effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Release your ex. This is clearing old energy. So this could, if you decide to reconcile with this person, Libra, then you both need to just like start fresh and clear the old. But I actually think this is more relating also to like past, past energy. So exes, old pain, old wounds that have just been creating a barrier and a block and a lot of projection with 
getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. There's a need to open up to one another. Um, and I think with this Knight of Cups here, as in what do they want with you or what are their actions, that's like a gesture, that's, that's genuine feelings and emotions and the Queen of Cups here. Maybe you feel like what they come forward with feels small, Libra, but maybe that's again, that's a projection you, you're looking for more because you're looking for some reassurance or um, maybe it's just how they are because they have been hurt before. So they have difficulty opening up, right? I mean, we had that card, I think when I was shuffling, we had that Oracle, it was like keeping things inside and then red flags. So there's a lot of this maybe, I don't take that card guys always as like red flag, red flag. I really wasn't getting that. I mean, I'm, again, I'm not encouraging any of you if this is like really violent or dangerous um, or if you don't want it, but red flags is like, with the X and the and the energy, clearing your energy, like a lot of the time we're on one narrative or one storyline that's connected to the past experiences, beliefs, and um, we can shift, right? Like if we have a different story about ourselves, we're not constantly hypervigilant, seeing red flags everywhere and then projecting. Do you understand what I mean? So this person is a mirror situation going on, like lover's card, it's very much mirror type soul connections and this is a soulmate and then i've got religious factors i think i said that there could be cultural religious differences or different backgrounds that are playing into this but there's definitely a spiritual component there right your love life is influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual path and then finances and career i said there could be a real focus on career um, or past financial issues like if there's disappointments that ten of pentacles was in the reverse before so there might be a bit of this you know, fear around that it's a risk, like codependency issues, you or this person or both of you might have some um, hesitancy when it comes to really giving to one another or anyway, healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So that's part of clearing the old energy, the old stories, because past relationships also reflect the story that has been carried you know from the past past so we only you know we tend to have experiences and our interpretation and our if we're having re repetitive triggers and cycles and and relationship experiences it's often coming from a story that we've carried from way before that has nothing to do with again guys i'm not encouraging anyone um i'm not demonizing i'm not victim shaming I'm just trying to help you guys to empower yourself so things can turn around or either way there's a learning transcending here so if you don't want it you've learned something about yourself and you know what you do want and you're improving um, for yourself to bring in more of what you want and desire okay i've got passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy definitely passion between the two of you and then i've got honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together something about taking a trip or this could be just like that feeling of renewing the love with trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith and I'll take, let go of control issues, allow this situation to unfold natu naturally. Control issues. Someone could be over controlled and hold back. Another person could want to control the situation um, in order to get some reassurance. And this is when we get these kind of tensions. So the more secure we are within ourselves, the more secure um, the relationship is and then I've got wedding this situation involves marriage some of you there's past marriages that um we haven't let go of the experiences we I mean we you and this person maybe you haven't let go of those experiences and the energy around it and the story behind it and for others of you I see because the four of wands was in the reverse there's a fear of like maybe getting married and doing that again or issues to do with culture and religion which might be um, affecting that but, you know, it's possible that this actually could move towards that. If you let go of control issues, have a bit of trust and work on healing some of the deeper stuff that's going on. That's like the block. Okay. All right, Libra. I hope that that resonated for you. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, please. And I'll check in with you guys in two weeks time. Lots of love.